Hey guys, George Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you with another video. So I was thinking about doing this pickup video of different pickups I've had, and it's not a ton of pickups, but some cool cards in there. And one of the cards was a Walter Johnson card, and it was a strip card. And so then I just started researching the Walter Johnson card more. Um, I knew the pop report of the Johnson card before I bought it, but then I started researching the set and the other set because it's two sets. So I decided to just make a video about the 1923 w515 series and so the strip card series i have a few of these strip cards and frankly i got into them about seven eight eight years ago or so because i wasn't collecting t206s at that point and uh, it just seemed like a cheaper alternative but had some of the all-time great hall of famers in it and so i'm going to talk about the 1923 w515-1 and w515-2 sets um, in my video here and showing some cards with the Walter Johnson pickup that I had made. So guys, I hope you enjoy this. Hope you're having a great Friday uh, coming up on Thanksgiving next week. So here we go. Okay, guys. So um, looking at the W515 and 515-1 and 515-2 set, the W515-1 set and here's a Trish speaker. Um, this set came out, obviously, in 1923. And you can see the comic book art type of the 1920s here. Now, I was doing some research, and you can go down that rabbit hole of comic book art, which is kind of newspaper art, which is kind of an exclusively American, originally American kind of idea, stemming back to, like believe, pre-Revolutionary War comic strips and things of that nature. But this is just a great card of the style of this 1920s comic book style. And when I was collecting comic books growing up in the 70s and predominantly 80s, you'd see the style would be very similar. But when you looked back at the books from the, you know, like the Batmans and things like that, you saw kind of a more similar style to this. But the 1923 W515-1 series was um, 60 baseball cards, 120 subjects, six of them were, 60 of them were baseball cards or baseball players. And has some of the greatest players of all time. Now, um, this uh, this series would come, according to PSA at least, would come in six strips of ten players. So you get six strips, ten players a piece, and you'd cut them up. They're hand cut. Um, and so if you notice this card, this is a W515-1. Different than the two. The W515-2, some of them have writing on the top. And they're different. So um, here's an example. This is a this is a George Sisler of the W five fifteen two series. Now, if I had the Sisler of the W five fifteen one, you would see the difference. But to compare these, you can see that one is smaller than the other. The speaker is smaller than the Sisler because these W five fifteen one cards were not quite as big as the W five fifteen two series. Um, they are similar, almost, they're the same picture. And I guess it's from an Underwood, and Underwood is the company that these photos were taken and then they were adapted in this comic book style. But like, for example, the, the speaker in the W515-2 is a longer picture, so it fills it out. The Sisler here, uh, you get more of the picture because it's a larger card, but it is the same picture as on the W515-1. So... When you look at these cards, like for example, here's another one. Here's a Grover W515-1. Again, I mean, look at him. He's just looking all salty, like he's always looking salty. But uh, these cards um, are rare. They're not super rare, but they're hard to come by. And so I'm going to talk about the pop reports of these as I put them up. But uh, the Grover, again, looks the same in W515-2. It's just that it is um, a larger card, and there's more. You could, it could go down further on his jersey, just like the Ruth, just like the Sisler. So, and you can see that again, that great comic book style. So we're going to talk about the pop reports of these. Are they rare? Aren't they rare? What's the difference? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, W515-1. There's 500, or W515-1. PSA is graded 1,467 of them. SGC 797 of the total set, including qualifiers. W515-2, 
So it's 2,264 W515-1s graded. PSA, 457 of W515-2. SGC, 276, 733. The, the W515-2 is three times more rare than the W515-1. So the pop reports are way, are three times less. And so um, it's just interesting. And I guess what makes the W515-2 series so unique is that they had writing on the top. And I predominantly saw the word wonder on the top of some of the cards. And it was seemed to me like it was random cards uh, in the set, but it was not. Um, it is intentional. So I'm gonna put this Sisler back here. And so this W515-2 set, the W515-1 did not have writing on the top or on the sides, just the player's name at the bottom. The W515-2 set, again, 120 card set, Little Wonder Picture Series. Now I saw Wonder, and I'm gonna show you the Johnson now. Here's the Walter Johnson I picked up. Now it's off in the case, so if anybody has any suggestions, I tried to get this thing back, but it's in a little sleeve, so perhaps uh, P, uh, I just sent it back to SGC to get it reholder. They should have holded it correctly in the first place. But this is the beautiful Johnson I picked up. And it says Wonder on the top of it. Now, as I'm thinking, you know, being, you know, 50 years old, Wonder Bread. Well, it's not Wonder Bread. Um, and so this beautiful Johnson. <laughs> you like that one? Wonder Bread. Uh, not Wonder Bread. Little Wonder Picture Series. So on this big train... It's got it on the top. Now, is this the only card that it has Wonder on the top? No. I'm going to put him in the background right now. So, W515-2, Little Wonder Picture Series. Wonder is on the top of the key cards of Ruth, the Johnson, the Speaker, and the Collins. It says Wonder along the top. Now, the way it was Little Wonder Picture Series was in the strip, along the top of the strip. And so, depending on where your player fell, the exact same thing is on the top. So, for example, the Grover on the W515-2, on the top of the Grover, it says the end half the word of picture, T-U-R-E, series. So, it says T-U-R-E, series, on the top of the Grover, every Grover, from this set, uh, the W515-2 set, not the one set. So, everything said little wonder picture series, depending on the card, and then the blank top, on the key cards. Cobb does not have any writing on the top, and neither does Hornsby. So that's kind of the breakdown of how Little Wonder Picture Series was on these key cards. Um, so again, you can't find a W515-2, Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson, Speaker Collins. It does not say Wonder on the top, right there. And again, not Wonder Bread. And these have a blank back, um, but again, a really cool 1920s Almost kind of a superhero comic book style, which I just think is beautiful. And on the Johnson itself specifically, uh, this Johnson, there's 17 total graded by PSA, 16 authentics, one PSA one. On the SGC front, there's 19 total, one 5.5, one, th one three, three twos, two 1.5s, five ones, and seven authentics. So I guess at the end of the day, on this W5, 15 Walter Johnson, number two. There's a total PSA and SGC. There's seven above a PSA or a SGC one. But anyway, guys, just thought this would be interesting. The Little Wonder Picture Series, this Walter Johnson kind of made me go down the rabbit hole with Speaker, Ka, uh, with Speaker, Sisler, Sisler Speaker, and of course, the great Grover. Cleveland Alexander. So guys, thank you for watching and keep collecting.